one is rated at 150 psi at 125 degrees Fahrenheit. The hydro test is 225. It's an ASME PVHO certified chamber, and there gives you the specs. The shell 3/8 in 1982. For the oxygen systems we use two bottles. They're tea bottles 337 cubic feet each and they are filled and rated at 2400 psi when they're full. We have two bottles. One is designated as online and the other is designated as standby. The standby is always in the off position and the online will be turned to the on position slowly Verify you have high pressure. This particular cylinder has 1700 psi in it. And then we come into our regulator. This is a standard Victor welding regulator. And we use this to reduce the high pressure down to a secondary pressure which can be delivered inside the chamber. We want to set this regulator, very important, to 50 psi over ambient. So whatever the chamber depth is, we're going to set it at 50 psi over bottom pressure so that the Scott bib mask function properly. These regulators are not self-venting, so as I rotate the dial clockwise, you can see my secondary pressure goes up to 100 psi. If I were to back this off, that pressure is not going to reduce because it's not self-venting. It's very important for us to understand that. The masks inside have to be either bled or breathed off to reduce that line pressure and then that gauge will come down. If you follow the hose, the low pressure hose, it's delivered into the chamber, goes up here through the beams, through some hard piping, and then down on top of the chamber. So if we're following this piece of oxygen clean simplex hose with 100% oxygen in it, we follow it down the side and then we see that it comes in right here into a check valve. This is a non-return valve flows going this direction. We then come into some 3 8 brass tubing and it comes up into a manifold here and it crosses off. There's a gauge that gives us our low pressure, same as what we had on the secondary pressure there after the regulator. And then it branches out left or right for inner lock and outer lock right here. These are slow opening needle valves which are required for use Anytime we have oxygen, we don't want to have oxygen with quarter turn ball valves so that we have sudden increases of pressure inside a chamber. So the oxygen is delivered inside to equally similar valves on the inside for the inner lock and outer lock for the oxygen delivery, and that isolates the bid mass. So on the opposite side of this valve here on the outer lock, there will be another slow opening valve and the same thing on the inner lock. The inner lock is a little bit more elaborate on the inside. It simply goes to a manifold and has individual valves because we have a total of four outlets for delivery for oxygen inside. Bid masks is that we have an oxygen analyzer kept on the outside to, to sample the atmosphere of air on the outside of the chamber. And that is done via a flow meter right here. This flow meter is connected up to a manifold, which simply allows air to flow either from the inner lock here or the outer lock valve here. We can only do one or the other at a time. Most commonly, it's going to be the inner lock because that's where our divers are going to be breathing oxygen. This flow meter is set to have a flow coming through it at two liters per minute. There's a little ball right inside the flow meter in here and we open this valve with our fingers counterclockwise until we get two liters a minute of flow. That flow is discharged through this piece of Tigon tubing here and this piece of Tigon tubing is connected up to the oxygen analyzer. So this short piece of tubing is simply just pressed on here. It doesn't need to be put on all the way just enough to make contact with the oxygen analyzer. This analyzer should be calibrated in air at 20.8%. And that's very important so that we get oxygen analysis. The reason we analyze oxygen in the air environment is we don't want to have the oxygen content get above 23%. 
the absolute max is 25%. The higher the oxygen percentage in the chamber, it increases the risk of a fire hazard. So every time we have a, an increase in oxygen, we're gonna increase the flame per percentage and flame spread rate by a significant proportion. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test breathe the bib mass for the outer lock. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna verify that we have our cylinder on, our online cylinder is on. We just turned it on before, we've got bottle pressure and our regulator is set at 90 PSI, a little bit high for the uh, test here on the surface, but nonetheless, it'll still work. We come over to our chamber, that oxygen is fed up to the manifold, and we open our outer lock oxygen supply that's delivering oxygen inside to the chamber. Coming over into the outer lock of the chamber, we look inside, and here is our corresponding oxygen supply right here. So if I open this valve, You want to open the valve three or four turns. It doesn't need to be open all the way and back a quarter like a scuba cylinder. And that's fine. <clears throat> and you notice there's two hoses. There's a supply hose here that has a quick disconnect on it. The supply hose is thinner. And then there's also an exhaust hose here on the mask. Now this is the bib mask, built-in breathing system. That's what it stands for. This is made by Scott. And it has a little dial of breath here, but it works just the opposite of your BAM mask. We'll take this dial of breath, and if we screw it in clockwise, we'll start to get a free flow in the mask. We back it out until it just stops. That is set for that particular depth or pressure that you're at. We do not want these things free flowing while we're inside the chamber. Oxygen is either on and we're breathing it. If we're not, it is off. And it's very important for us to understand to reduce the risk of fire hazard. You can see the two hoses here. And my hand on the left side here is the supply line. And then on the right side is the overboard dump. There is a small regulator on the side which takes the gas. And when you exhale, it is delivered out through that hose, down through a ball valve, and then outside the chamber. That is the hull stop for the overboard dump. This valve right here must be open while you are breathing oxygen in order for you to exhale. Now these masks are very difficult to exhale through while we're on the surface because there's no chamber pressure to help this back pressure valve work. So we'll go ahead and test this. And that works just fine. So there's your your overboard dump and your supply line for your uh, oxygen system in the outer lock. If we come on the outside, the opposite side of that ball valve we just looked at is right down here. This is the external overboard dump for the outer lock. This valve must also be open when we're breathing oxygen. So if we're doing a SIRDIO2 run, it is very important that these masks are tested out and the valves are set in the correct position.